Hello everyone, welcome to Sundos Communication and this is our news corner. On today's news, we have the suspected female suicide bombers who are going rampant in Bonu State, Nigeria. Relatives of victims consoled themselves after the situation of the suicide bomb attack that it's Goa. The number of people who had died in the series of deadly blasts in Nigeria thought to have been carried out by female suicide bombers have risen to more than 30, the vice president said. After visiting the hospital treating the wounded in Bonu State capital Maduguri on Monday, it was said that there were 42 people injured according to the AFP. The oral of the Saturday brutal coordinated attack that targeted a wedding close to the border of Cameroon has left the community in shock. President Bola Tinubu condemned the attack, calling them desperate acts of terror. He vows 10 actions against those responsible for the killing in the town of Goa and insisted that the incident has not undermined recent gains made against jihadists. The president declares that this violence should have a certain encounter with justice and that the cowardly attacks are only but an isolated episode as his government will not allow his nation to go into an era of fear, sorrow and blood. This statement issued by a spokesman on Facebook was what he said. No one has admitted to carrying out the attack but the Nigerian setter Islamic State West Africa province is surgeon as previously claimed deadly bombing in Bono State. The degree of the injury ranges from abdominal ruptures to skull and limb fractures. The military has imposed a curfew upon the people within the state of Bono to ensure proper security. The Amnesty International Nigeria also called for an end to the assault of civilians in Bono State. Most of the victims are being treated for injuries at an hospital in Maduguri. In the last four months, attackers have twice targeted people to suicide and improvise explosive devices in Bonu State. Bonu State has been at the center of a 15 year insurgency by Boko Haram Islamic militant, which has displaced more than 2 million people and killed more than 40,000. Boko Haram gained international notoriety in April 2014 when it kidnapped more than 270 schoolgirls from the town of Chibok, also in Bonu State. Shortly after the kidnapping, the group carried out an attack in June and used their first female suicide bomber. This was only three years after it deployed its first male suicide bomber. Since then, there have been speculation that some of the female suicide bombers may be the missing Shibok schoolgirls. A study found that Boko Haram has utilized more women as suicide bombers more than any other group in history. Recent numbers suggest that over half of all the suicide bombers used by the Boko Haram are females. Many suggest that their mode of dressing, usually in hijab, a covering from head to feet, offer adequate means for hiding explosives. Last November, 20 people were killed by the Boko Haram insurgents while returning from the funeral service in neighboring Yobe State. And this Goway suicide attack has reignited suspicion that jihadist group may be trying to reinvent themselves and show that they still have the capacity to do damage. That is all for the news. Thank you and see you next time.